I apologize, I just had to get that out. It just, it seemed appropriate for this review. Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing my second review for the day. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing the book The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the book with me in my hands because I am moaning it to a relative of mine. Now I'm just going to uh, kind of put this out there. If you guys don't know about this book, uh, the author Robert Galbraith is actually J.K. Rowling. You know J.K. Rowling from the Harry Potter series, right? Um, now this book, this book is a mystery book, of course, and I like to read the type of mysteries that have action and suspense and something that just surprises you, really, and such, such things like that. Those things didn't really have it in here. I call this book kind of your typical mystery because it, it's like, it, it's giving you a puzzle. It's making you think as you're reading this book. So it's like, I don't know, have you ever played the game Clue? You're trying to guess where each things go and trying to make sense of the scenes and all that, and you know you're trying to predict, trying to predict what's you know, what's going to happen and you know who done it or not. So that's what I kind of felt like as I was reading this book. So what this book is about? It's about a struggling private uh, investigator named Mormon Strike, and this is how you spell it right here. So might as well show you guys what how it's spelled. Uh, and what I mean by struggling is that he's um, kind of been living in his office after he dumped his longtime girlfriend. And his agency has been kind of going into debt due to lack of clients. And it's just, it's rough for him. Um, but one day everything changes because a client comes in and asks Strike to kind of investigate, um, actually more like begging him to investigate the death of his sister. Now this case is going to be become big for Mormon Strike because the victim of this case uh, is a high profile fashion model who just has been surrounded by paparazzis all over and because of that everyone believes uh, in the press and stuff even the police believe that this girl committed suicide uh, but the client her brother uh, believes otherwise and he thinks that she was pushed off her balcony so for my thoughts on this book, uh, the reason I call this like a, a what make you think kind of book mystery is that we see uh, Kamoran, it's actually Kamoran, not Kamorman, I keep saying Kamorman, um, it's Kamoran, uh, he seeks answers from people who have been associated or who knew the victim, the girl, and like I said, just putting the pieces together of the scenes of the, her final day, I will say that trying to predict you know, who done it if she was murdered or if she did kill herself. It's not really as easy as it looks. I think JK Rowling did a very good job at trying to hide the details or how she written the whole scenes together because it just it's it really surprises you, honestly. And I think that's what a mystery should be like, even though it's very hard to predict because um, you want to be surprised at what happens right at the end of the book. Um, now about the characters, I like the character of Kamoran. You just feel sorry for him because he's actually, not only has he been struggling as a private investigator, but he's, he's also a former veteran. And, and at war he lost his leg and now he's kind of struggling with a prosthetic leg. And it hurts him some of the time it just irritates him and you just you just feel sorry for him and I think he becomes a very well detective you get a lot of dialogue from him and so you get a, you you basically get a lot from him I think there is another character who is in the story and her name is Robin she becomes a kind of a temporary secretary and at first they they as they meet they kind of had this first bad impression um, kind of run in but then Robin kind of starts uh, developing like she's she's basically becoming interested in Kamoran's Kimor work how he investigates I guess and she's starting to like it and really wants to be involved so this 
kind of becomes like a Sherlock Watson ordeal, I think. And I don't know how it's going to proceed, because there's going to be more in the books later on. So I'm kind of looking forward to that relationship. I think we kind of, I mean, this is the beginning of a, a definite relationship. Um, I don't know, I don't think it's going to be like intimate for, for some sort. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to that relationship going on. Now, I mentioned the writing of the story, but when you're reading this book, you don't really recognize that this is J.K. Rowling's writing. Now, I haven't read The Casual Vacancy. That's her, uh, another adult book that she wrote. So I don't really know how well written that is compared to this one. I think this, like I said, this mystery is very well detailed and very well written. I forgot to mention I gave this book a 5 out of 5 so I highly recommend it to you guys if you guys are big fans of mystery. So definitely check it out. Um, now the second book uh, is called The Silkworm. It just came out back in June and I do have it. I do plan on reading it sometime and look forward to what case that Come On Strike is up to. And I know that uh, what I read recently, J.K. Rowling said in an interview that there's going to be more than seven books in the series. Yeah, more than seven books. So I look forward to what's to come, I guess. Let me know if you guys have read this book or if you plan on reading it, if you guys liked it, if you have read it, if you didn't like it or something like that. Um, let me know down below in the comments there. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, comment down below what you guys, what your thoughts are. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like this review that I gave. And please subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? Goodbye. Now this is going to become kind of a whole, a uh, whole. <laughs> Uh, now this is going to become a like a big case for Commandment Strike because the victim in this in his case is a high pro uh, high pri. Okay, now this is going to become a uh, a big case for Commandment Strike because the victim in this uh, in this case she's a, a high profile fashion model. Try getting those words out. Okay. <laughs>